Okay. Um, I hope you guys realize I, there was no possible way I could leave this be. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's parts day. I got my special little envelope in from uh, China, from Huajian Lu in uh, Shenzhen, Guangdong province. It's down in the, um, it's down the south end of China by the South China Sea, and believe it or not, these be it. This is the flex cable, which I strongly suspect has um, bogged things down here. Um, so what we are going to do is we are going to um, start disassembling my little JVC Iverio to try and get at this part. Now, is it going to be fun? Yeah, it'll be great fun. Um, I have disassembled enough stuff and come up with leftover parts during reassembly uh, to include all manner of things from guitars to engines. Um, ow! There's a vice right there. Um, that. Um, so what I have done is I have briefly sketched out where these panels are when I open the screen, like so, you may or may not be able to tell, there are two small screws by my thumb. And I have noted on the camera, or on the cardboard here, this is where those two screws are going and there's a piece of double stick tape over there. So each one of these views, I have where the individual screws at because they're not all the same size and it matters when you're putting it back together, which screw goes in the right hole. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can replicate the problem we're having here. Okay, it's turning on. It is now on. There we get a little bit of screen action going on there, and that's, that's all we got. First thing we need to do is, I think we've got to get these two screws out. Alright, and this magnet here has come off. That is my magnet, which is going to fit in this little area, and that is for, I believe, a Hall Effect sensor. Here is our cable that we are attempting to um, replace. We're going to take off these three screws here. Um, I think it's probably very important for me to tell you right now, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Perhaps that is this entire plate. So now do we have to take these two off? And maybe these three off? Goodness gracious. All right, and we're back. Uh, lovely shepherd's pie for... Uh, yeah, I should probably not hit that button anymore. Um, actually, it was a, we would call it a cottage pie because I didn't have any lamb, so I had to use hamburger. Let's, ah, there we go. Nope, that looks like that's how that comes off. Okay. So now, what does that do for me? Besides, not, oh, okay, well that part comes off there. That was there, okay. I may have just actually found the failure in the system. I really miss autofocus. All right. I want to say that right there, it actually looks like there's a crimp. There's a spot that looks like non-good right there. Um, I got to tell you, um, the internet is like, oh, there we go, the best place in the world to get information. Um, a lot of the stuff that I'm doing right now actually came off of the... Um, 
off of the EEV blog. I want to say it's 454 is the number on it. Anyways, he tears down one of these, and I'm using that as a reference point um, to try and find out what we need to do here. Out of focus screwdriver. That's what I'm using. I don't know if you heard the little click. That was my camera or my monitor turning off. I have this bodge together monitor set up for right now. If I'm coming into an area that uh, that has new screws, I can't even tell on my monitor if you can see that or not. Like this is the lens here. These are screws I'm pulling out of the lens. And over here, these are the screws that I'm going to pull out of the inside here. So here's why it's not peeling off. We got a cover on the back here. Okay, so here there's the cable we have to get to. Wow, can this suck anymore? Well, it probably could. Did we need to pull that off because this looks like that just pulls out of there? Maybe or maybe not. Does this front bezel come off? No, because we're connected with the fancy pointer thingy there. I'm trying to trace where this cable goes. It goes into here, it wraps around here, and then it goes. Well, bugger me. This is supposed to just flip up. And it does. Now, now this is all going to have to come off here. Oh, there's two hidden. I am pretty sure I have put engines together that were less complicated than this. Okay, that pulls the hinge off. And we're still not all the way off, you bad word. There's a piece of sticky tape holding that on, and I can actually see, I can see the flex cable, that I can see the terminal, I got a screw right there, and that is tiny. Alright, I'm going to try to explain this real quick because I'm running out of drive space. Alright, right there is my connector. Here's the end of my flex cable, which is going to go up in there. That's up in there. That's screwed into there. The cable comes like that. And then comes out the back side. Alright, so here is our piece. And now what I have to do is I have to get this piece twisted and folded up to look like that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put this there I just want to mark that location there because that is where I want 
this connector to hit the edge of this. This is like that. And then this is folded over like so. Okay, folded over like so. Not exactly sure what this tape is all about. It actually seems to be a two layer tape. I don't know if it is... I don't know because here's the actual tape part of it here. And then this is like a coating so I am not quite sure what that's all about. So now let's pay attention here because we're going to unwrap this. It's going to go one, two times. So I'm going to have this like this. Apparently the chess game is going very well upstairs as I hear laughter. One, two, and then I have that like that. Well, now somebody's coming downstairs. Now we're in trouble, kids. Yes. Are you video videoing? I, I am video videoing. Okay. Um, so is the S H I T word bad or the C R A P word badder? Because mom says the C R A P word is way badder than the S H I T word. She is absolutely wrong. A C? No, no, no. Crap is totally acceptable. Yes. Sh is not. Yes, that's what we're saying. And yes. I was like, no, the S H I T word is way less no. than the C R A P word. No, your mother's wrong. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't often say that, but I'm saying it now. Mm -hmm. No. Thank you. She is she is in error. And uh welcome to my house. So now this is supposed to go back in here. Like such. And then this is supposed to go on. Why am I not going on? Because I'm backwards, that's why. Okay, so there, that is like that. Now this goes back to here. Now we can reassemble. Now we just have to get it port back up into this, this, uh, let's see, where are we? Oh, we're back over here. Now we just have to get it into here back into that part which you know hey how hard could it be right now the nice thing is that they have included a couple of little locating tabs screw that one on then we're going to screw this one on and then we're going to There is, not that I can see because my damn monitor, there is on the end of this, there is a stiffener. Uh, I'm assuming that is so that you're going to be able to more easily insert it into the slot. I have this big flex cable here which prevents me from opening the case up. 
but then if I release that flex cable then how in the heck am I going to how in the heck am I going to reconnect it back up in theory I have this stupid thing on so I'm gonna attempt to piece it back together enough so that I can test it and see if it's working and this may take even longer than it did the first getting the stupid thing apart Alright, check this out. I have a display. The display stays on. My laser touch thing works. I may have a sensor or something. Not. It might be have to do with that magnet. I bet that's what that magnet is, is telling this to flip maybe one direction or the other. All right, well, um, not bad. This, we have our screen back. I don't think, uh, I don't think this cable is seated all the way in that little um, in this receptacle for this part right here that is my thought because as you can see I don't have the best picture I do have a picture I have a usable picture and you know what that might be okay uh, so we'll see here in a minute um, because we're going to dump everything on the computer and we'll edit videos together. So we'll see if the play, if it's recording correctly and if it is this that is screwed up, then it is more than likely that weird connection underneath here that I can't get these things to. Um, but I think I can live with that. So uh, we're going to consider this a... Oh, I don't know, a 7 out of 10 success. Okay, um, I hope you guys realize I, there was no possible way I could leave this be. Because I just don't, it's not the way I could do it. My picture is a little goofy, and I think that's the reason right there. You can see, we attempt to do this left-handed, this is not correctly seated it looks cattywampus it's a little crooked so I'm gonna try to straighten that up and then we'll see if that uh, if that improves our picture anymore it came apart remarkably uh, quickly the second time alright does that look better I think it does the way that I got this to open up was I disconnected this flat flex cable which actually runs underneath here and comes out on the other side. I have gotten this big flat cable come on I've gotten this big flat cable put back in um, this is where that flat cable connects up to this is the memory card slot it has uh, internal memory and then it also has the uh, SD card slot. I just took, there's just three screws, one, two, and three. And I took those three screws off and I was able to peel this board back. There's a flat flex connector on the back. That pops up. That frees open this joint here so that you can, um, so that you can just open it, uh, open it up and uh, easily uh, get that file, re that, uh, that flat flex cable reconnected and guess what it was kids it was exactly that cable because now I have a nice crisp correctly oriented uh, image now whether or not we can get it to flip 
uh, with a little magnet I don't know um, but we're gonna give that a shot so anyways there we are uh, correctly functioning make sure you get your flat flex connections seated correctly or it goes back to the no worky all right well here we are kids that'll help oh my gosh let's see let's go back quit and it's oh, good it's recording well that'll be fun all right so there we are the camera is back in the functioning the uh, the zoomage works it um, well we'll find out in a second if the uh, if the if the microphone's hooked up or not here's the only thing that it doesn't do is when I rotate this around it doesn't flip and I'm not exactly sure what part that is um, because when I close it it actually does shut off now whereas when that cable was mis misplaced, um, it didn't. It didn't shut off at all. When I turned it, um, when I closed it, um, this light still stayed on, which was telling me that it um, it wasn't shutting off. So there must have been something in there um, that uh, told it to shut off. But now it will actually shut off. So let's stop this nonsense. And then we close it. And now I got no light on here. So we're good. Um, uh, is this something, if you don't know anything about electronics, if you don't know anything about small scale electronics, um, would this be easy to do? Probably not. Um, if you know a little bit about electronics, if you know a little bit about small scale consumer appliance type of stuff, just from taking stuff apart and putting it back together, I, I did go to electronics school. Um, I didn't finish, but um, I went through enough to know to be familiar with stuff. Um, uh, is it easy for you? Eh, um, is it impossible to do? No, it's not. Um, if I can do it, you can do it. Hey, if you like this episode of Rattle Can Guitar Restorations, you might want to check this video out as well. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, and if you'd like to help the channel grow, consider stepping over to our Patreon page and giving that a look. Y'all have a good weekend. Cheers.